Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for November 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th, Monday through Thursday. Now, you know that I'm using my Radley Valentine deck. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I'll pull one from my Guardian Angel cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I am going to pull... I think three out of my Angel Tarot cards. Again, Radley Valentine for the introduction. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. We have entered into... Let's see what that is. We have entered into... Um, Sagittarius season. I am sorry. I will try to get them out. I can't promise that I'll be getting my Sagittarius out. My long readings in a, you know, very timely because it's been just a lot has been going on in my life. So I apologize. Um, can't promise anything very soon, but I want to make sure we keep up with our short readings. Okay. So um, we have entered Sagittarius season. We have you know, that the full moon that we just had, that, you know, if you if if you've watched my introductions, you'll know it's been a it's been a rare type of eclipse. We are now into an eclipse season. Um, I think we're gonna have a little bit more eclipse um in the next two years than we normally do, but we'll see what that's about too. And I did read that while and I haven't verified this, that while the eclipse that we just had we had not had that type of a long eclipse for 580 years. I read somewhere that we won't, there won't be, it won't come again for another 900 years. So there's some major, major, major power, and that is going to be bringing in a lot of energy with Sagittarius season. Okay, so let's see what we have right now. We've got the King of Water, the King of Water. King's underlying energy is our air energy, our sword energy. So there's a lot of thought processes to the king of water, okay? Just to the king and, his, and himself. That is our Aquarius, which we still have a lot of Aquarius energy. It's also our um, Gemini and Libra energy. But this is also water energy. So we've got somebody that really thinks thinks things through, you know, makes plans, but at the same time, the water energy is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. We just have come out of Scorpio season. Um, Mars, though, is still within Scorpio, so there's that, there is that strength that is that strong um, going after something that you want type of energy. So this is a very emotional um, energy going on this week. There is, but it's yet at the same time, it's, it's like, emotions versus intellect, um, being objective, being emotional, but yet at the same time, the king of water brings it all together. The king of water is somebody who has gone through the emotional ringer and comes out still hopeful, still a little bit more of a realist than possibly, you know, before, but still, you know, goes forward and knows and wants and thinks and loves and cares so there is that emotional component, yet at the same time, there is that objectivity too. So, the king of water is trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Your next card, reversed. The nine of fire, so, you know, nines, Bring all, bring all the energies together, bring it all together, let's wrap it up, let's stay, you know, we've got everything we need, fire energy is Sagittarius energy, it is Aries energy, it is Leo energy, again, passionate, burning, very determined. I call her the dragon slayer or the dragon tamer. She stands firm, she stands very powerful, she does not give up and does not give in, you know, really at all now and i do love her i do love the strength that she brings anyway don't give up protect that which you've created have courage and believe in yourself and that was the one that was reversed remember reverse have a little stronger energies let's go here next card awakening now so remember to also 
think about the numbers. The numbers have a lot of energy and they'll have a lot of messages. So when you, you know, when you're looking at the numbers, you can look at 912 or 219, you know, because they can go backwards or forwards. Um, you know, what you can do with the numbers is you can put them into um, your browser, put angel numbers behind it, like 912 angel numbers, hit enter, you know, and see what pops up. There's also Gematria. There's all different, um, th there are a couple of more different things out there that actually can give you interpretations of numbers. Now, Awakening, this is Archangel Gabriel. This is a divine messenger, okay? And I do feel like a message is being given, a message is being brought. I do, you know, not all the time do I feel that when I see um, a card with, the, uh, with Archangel um, Gabriel in it or any of, you know, but this one I'm feeling really, the message is being delivered, the message is coming. Awakening is also the hanged man in traditional tarot. It's look at things a little bit differently. It's also open your eyes. And I know I have said this since what, last, you know, beginning of uh, 2021. That Aquarius, that Saturn in Aquarius energy, reality versus illusion. And you know what? It, it may not be easy, but reality is what is going to be, what's going to win. Now, whatever, to, uh, you know, whatever that is, whatever we've been hiding to ourselves, you know, not necessarily wanting to face. So there is, you know, so this could be a week of facing things we've not wanted to face. Um, there is this emotional, um, he, you know, the King of Water has a strong emotional maturity. It's kind of like, okay, fine, you broke me, but yet you haven't broke me. You know, I, I can look at what you're saying. I can listen to what you're saying. I will make up my own decision. I will make up my own mind. The Nine of Fire, again, stand firm. The Awakening is, okay, let me look at this a little bit differently, okay? So, and this is what it, it will say. Look at things from a different perspective. It's a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. And I do feel when I see the impo it's important to be yourself, I do feel the nine of fire being very, very strong. Now, this is an overview. We'll see what happens, but why don't we just go ahead and start our individual readings for the signs. Hello, my Aries. How are you doing? Well, we are in Sagittarius season, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a very powerful season. I do think, especially for my fire signs, which is you. So let's see what we have for my Aries here. You've been you've been on a very strong pathway. You have really. I'm not saying that it's been an easy pathway, but it has been very strong. And it's kind of like, no, this is the way I have to go. This is where I have to, this is what I have to do. And like I said, I'm not saying it's easy, but nothing in life really, I don't know, nothing in life worthwhile is easy. Nothing in life in itself is easy. Okay. Reversed. Let's see what we have for my Aries. Okay. The Empress. The Empress. We have that three, three celebratory. Um, we have creative, very, very powerful, power of three. The Empress to me is the divine energy, the divine, the feminine divine energy. There's a lot of um, karmic energy. There's a lot of righting of wrong energy with the Empress. I do feel that this is the, uh, the divine, the uh, my higher power, the source, whatever you want to call it, whoever that is to you providing for you. I do feel that the Empress brings provision, openings, doors to open, you know, so whatever it is that you've been wanting or needing, keep putting it out there into the world, into the universe, my Aries. You have to keep saying, you know, and you have to say it in a very positive way. Um, I want this, um, you know, now granted, um, you know, it might not necessarily be, I want this brand new car, this model, da, 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 da. I mean, you can do that. You can try that. I've seen that actually happen, but you can also say, I need, I need good transportation. I, you know, so I do like to make things get, I do like to give the universe a little wiggle room when I'm putting out my wants and things like that, my wants and desires. But this is that week for you to be really putting it out there. I also feel, my Aries, you need to be talking and networking with a lot of people and talking about the things that have been important to you. I do think that you talk about, um, you know, if you're like, if you need a job or you're looking for um, backing on a, on, you know, on a career or something like that, 
keep putting it out there because I do feel like it's going to be a really good week for you to network. Okay, wherever that's coming from. So the Empress, and this is Archangel Gabriel. So this is the Divine Messenger. You could be hearing some really remarkable news this week. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. Reversed. The Knight of Ariel. Okay, so Knight's underlying energy, your energy, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, burning, determined. Ariel, earth energy. Uh, Capricorn, there's a lot of Capricorn energy going on right now. Taurus, we're still going to feel that effect of that Taurus full moon with that eclipse. Also Virgo, earth energy, money energy. The Knight of Ariel says get to work, get started, make your plans. Do not back off on what you need to do. And again, especially since the universe seems to want, seems to be wanting to open doors for you, wanting to provide provision for you, wanting to help you network. You just can't, you, this is not a weekend, this is not a week for you to be lazy. How's that? It's a week for you to, to go after a lot of the things you're going after. This is also, you know, remember the farmers, you know, the, the farmers have to plow the, the field. Then the farmers have to go and put the plant, the seeds, they have to do the, Whatever that is, I'm not a farmer. But, you know, so this could be a week that you have been, no, actually, you've been on a cycle where you have been already, you know, plowing the fields and you have already, you know, this could be the week that you actually start seeding more or you might be, you know, nurturing or something like that. But this is, again, you've been doing this, so continue doing this. Do not give up. Continue to do what you've been doing, especially the last, I don't know, how long have we been, you've been in a really strong um, movement going, you know, basically going after a lot of energy. Go, your, the energies have really been pushing you to go after what you've been wanting for what, how many weeks now? So this is that continuing of that. It is not a time for you to give up. It is not a time for you to be lazy. Okay, so here we go. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. Enjoy the ride. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. Okay, let's see what we have here. The Ten of Ariel. So now we have a 310 or 013 because some the numbers back and forth. Now, there this has a lot of family life. This has a lot of success. This has a lot of success in your family, your work, your job, your career. So whatever this is that you're going after to after Whatever this is that you've been putting all this energy towards, you could see some success and you could see some, you know, return on investment. You could see some, you know, possibilities opening up. Again, I do feel there's a lot of networking energy this week. I do feel like the universe is providing for you this week. I mean, has been providing for you, but I do feel like there's a lot of culmination to your plans um, or at least taking you to that next step. How's that? Okay. There is so very much to be grateful for, financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Things are moving for you uh, and you I do feel that you're going to you I do feel like you're going to hear news. I do feel like it it's it's like, you know, it's taken you it's taken you to the, that next level, taken you to that next step. Do not be lazy, do not be complacent. Go after what it is, okay? Okay. Um, go, you know, continue, continue to go after what you've been doing. Now you may find that you're branch off because again, I do kind of, you know, it's like, you know, we do sometimes have to take detours to get to where we, you know, maybe there's construction ahead. So we have to get around some of the obstacles that, you know, there's always going to be obstacles, but, um, just keep going because the universe is very much for you with this. Okay. Reversed three of action. So now we have a three, one, zero, three. Now, sometimes you drop the zero, so it could be three, one, three, either way. Now, action is your energy, okay? And again, I talked about what three is. This is basically your ship comes in. So you, so you should at least hear something positive. You should get positive news. Things are moving. Things are happening. Now, is it the culmination? Probably not, because where you know even when we do have when we do have some of those answers we always want a little bit more that is the human spirit we always are going after a little bit more but it does you know so i'm not saying that it's going to be total it's going to be the total answer this week but i do feel you're going to have some good news anyway 
Things are working out beautifully. Now that your ship has come in, it's time to decide well, what, your big, your, what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon your successes or move on to do something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. So, you know, the travel also is there too. Um, not quite sure. Well, I, yeah, tra travel does, you know, but again, I'm being called to the Empress too. So, the Empress and travel, whatever. I, Okay, let me know. Okay, my, my Aries, let me know. Here we go. Let's see what we've got here now. What crystal or energy from my wonderful, wonderful Aries? Reversed. Emerald. Ooh, emerald. So whatever you're doing, I do think that there's a lot of pure motives for what this is. What this is. I do feel that this is something that you're being really called to do. And, you know, something about the emerald and then with that empress too. So the emerald is about unconditional love beauty, recovery, healing past lives. That's always fascinating. So it could be something that, um, you know, remember I said there is a lot of karmic energy with the Empress too. So the Emerald, hey, now I'm going to say that's probably an expensive little stone there. But um, if you have some Emeralds, uh, you know, but the, the healing, uh, I do feel that the struggles you've been going through have been because of that healing. Okay, anyway, let's go on. So, lots of things for you. You keep going. Keep trudging. Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay. So, my Aries, remember again, like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Aries, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.